You're happy. You make nice ripples. Come on, sister. Let's hurry home to have breakfast and head for school. Come on, sis. Is it because today the marks come in and we find out who won the scholarship that you don't want to go? Sister, are you afraid of finding out? What if you did do best in our village, Kwai? You will go, won't you? If I do get to go, I won't spend all day in school reading old books, though. Remember the big markets Cousin Noi told us about? She said that jasmine buds are sold by the bucketfuls and rows of animal heads hang outside butcher stalls and countless different kinds of coconut cakes are sold there. I'm going to see for myself what that's like. Maybe buying new flower sarung for mama or something. And the temples too, Kwai. Oh yes, I'll go to the most beautiful, most sacred temples. The Temple of Dawn and the Emerald Temple. All the temples you see in noise colors postcards. I'll even light some incense, especially you, sister, and... At this rate, you won't have much chance for studying at all, Kwai. You know what noble hopes our teacher has for your future, my brother. Don't disappoint him. Are you sure, sister? Sure of what? What you just said? That teacher has high hopes for me? Not for you exactly, Kwai. More for what you will do for all of us. Why do you think he spends hours talking to you after school sometimes about injustice, poverty, and... Well, he talks to you, too. Only because I wait to walk home with you, Kwai. He can't very well ignore me when I'm standing right in his classroom doorway. I won't, I won't be playing around all the time, sister. If I really do get that scholarship, you know that. You know all the plans I have for wanting to improve life in our village. All those things that teacher has discussed with me. With, with us. Teacher said that very useful things are taught in city school. So if I do go, I'll study hard there and then come back to teach father how to raise new crops. And use better fertilizers or even set up a hospital for our village. Or advise the people here how not to get cheated by the tax collector. Did you see the sacks of rice stacked up beneath the house this morning, Kwai? How could I help but see them? There's such a big pile. Is the landlord's tax collector coming for them today, then? Must be. But Father didn't say anything about it. I think he's worried that by the time he gets through paying the rent for the rice fields, there won't be enough rice for us anymore. It's not fair that we work so hard all year, plowing and planting and reaping, and some landlord, whoever he is, collects so much of our rice without even lifting a hoe. And he collects whole piles of rice from everybody in the village. What right does he have to take our rice away? I don't know, sister. Why don't you ask teacher about it in the class today? He'll know. You ask him. But why? It's your question. Don't always be so afraid of speaking out in class, sister. He encourages us to ask questions. And besides, he likes you. He likes you more, especially today when you'll receive the government scholarship. Stop talking as if I had already won the scholarship. There are plenty of other students in our village who might get it. You know? Like who? How about you, sister? You could win. Me? But I'm a girl. You're older than I am. Maybe they want older students. Kwai, don't be silly. I won't get the prize. I'm not being silly. You always get good marks and you study harder than I do. Why shouldn't you have done better than me in the examination? You know why. I'm a girl, Kwai. Created using Powtoon.